Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my Disney Store limited edition doll reviews. This week I've got the second in the set for the Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade series, Villains Edition, and it is Lady Tremaine. So Lady Tremaine is the second doll to be released in the Villain series this year, and she caused quite a stir. She sold out really, really quickly. There's a whole bot situation going on here in the UK. But that's besides the point. I was so lucky I managed to get my hands on her and she's beautiful. I can't wait to open her up and show you guys. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the review. So let's look at the box first. It is the same uh, style as the Premiere series, as I mentioned in the Maleficent review. It is that same shiny holographic material and it's got Lady Tremaine's stunning print from Steve Thompson at the front with her mask here. Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade series. And she's one of the lower editions. She's one of 4400 and I believe Hades is the only one that's uh, below her um, and her colours on the box are also holographic like Maleficent's and she's got a green, yellow and orange motif which reflects here which I love turn it to the side it's got a continuation of her artwork from Steve Thompson with more paint splats there on the back you've got the full artwork from Steve Thompson I adore her artwork so much she looks so regal, so stunning. They use the exact same colour scheme as her original outfit. Love, love, love this artwork. You can pause and read a bit about the doll there. You've got Lady Tremaine written on this side here in the same holographic green, yellow and orange uh, holofoil. And it's like that graffiti feel, just like Maleficent. More splatters there. And then also to mention as well, it is the same cutout, like they are bursting into the uh, masquerade ball. Love that. And yeah, that is the box. When you open it up on the inside and it's got a keyhole cutout where you can see her. Let me just open that up for you. It's a keyhole which you can see here to represent the key that she took um, to lock Cinderella away. There's a lot of like feathers and like filigree and then there's the key there on this side in a hollow foil there and those are the windows. And before we get into the doll, I want to show you the pin set really, really quickly. This is series two of six, Lady Tremaine. It's got the stunning Steve Thompson artwork here, which is like raised and amazing quality with a thick gold border going round. And then her mask, there's such high quality pins. Like I said, I wish they did them like all in one set like they did last year, but I'm not complaining. I'm a sucker for pins and of course I was gonna get them and there's gems there in the key. Absolutely love the pins. This is Lady Tremaine's Certificate of Authenticity. It's got that same holofoil coloring with the greens, the yellows and the oranges when you move it around. It's got the Lady Tremaine here in like graffiti style print. And then mine is number 3,559 or 4,400. And here is a quick head to toe scan of the Lady Tremaine doll before we dive in and look at her details more in depth. But yeah, there she is with the shimmering green background. I absolutely love this shimmering box. I think they really make the dolls stand out. So I'm quite excited to see how the rest of the set like looks um, in front of their shimmering backgrounds. So here is a close up of Lady Tremaine's face. It is such an upgrade from the first Lady Tremaine that we got in the Heroes vs. Villains set a few years ago with Cinderella. Like this is pure perfection. It looks exactly like her. It's like she stepped out of the movie. She's incredible. Oh my god, I literally don't even know what to say. From the cheekbones to the face sculpt, everything about it is... She's jumped out of the movie, literally. She's amazing. So, look at her face. She's got amazing, like, hollow foil, like... She's definitely got some foil shadows going on. Um, I love this maroon, like, um, foiled eyeshadow look that she's going on. She's got some really long, rooted eyelashes with some obvious smirking maroon lips going on and definitely some obvious peach blushing. She's got some small, like, baby blue, like, studs or, like, green baby blue studs going on. And her hair is perfection. It is the, the darker grey, the lighter grey, the white, all mixed in one. There's multiple hair fibres going on here. It is that perfect perfect shape as it is in the film with a perfect curl in the front. I just think they've done this doll so much justice. She is amazing. I love her. Her mask is amazing. It said that the feathers on the mask are to represent her daughters where they've got like those big feathers like on their bums when they go to the um, ball. But it looks like the key in the film and it's got two uh, red uh, like crystals to signify the skull's eyes. 
it's amazing. There's the masquerade mask portion of the mask there. It's so clever. I love how they've incorporated so much of the character like into the masks. And I love that Lady Tremaine, along with Yzma, I think, is the only one that's got like the traditional masks that like you hold on like a stick, like the princesses last year. I wish they did all of them like that, because that's what a masquerade mask is mask is like, right? But yeah, love, love, love the detail on this mask. It is a plastic material though, not metal. Let's look at her outfit. She's got this weird like pleather dominatrix fishnet outfit style going on. And I'll get into some of my thoughts later, but like the collar is like this Elizabethan tall collar. It's like a maroon like pleather and it's got the stitching on the outer edges. The detail is amazing. She's got her like uh, aquamarine like brooch that she's got in the film in, in the form of like a crystal here. So I love that they kept that aspect of her outfit. And then this is where it gets a bit dominatrix. She's got like this uh, leather corset going on with gold detailing, gold trim and gold buttons. And then a fishnet like vest like inter um, interior. Like, again, when we get to the bottom half, I'll let you know my thoughts. But like, it continues down. She's got like some arm straps that are like, they're not gloves, but they're, like arm straps. Um, and they are also that maroon pleather material. As you go down, she's got a gorgeous maroon felt material, which is like a... Uh, diamond like uh, crossed um, like patterning which is a gold stitching there you can see the key that she locks Cinderella up in the film and it is to represent Lucifer this is made of metal and it is so cool I love that it represents Lucifer I love that Lucifer is in here somewhere in the form of the key like the detailing is amazing as you go down through this uh, velvety material it is met at the end with some gold tassels which uh, ties it off quite nicely and then you get into this like weird chain sort of like mesh dress skirt thing that ties around her actual skirt inside it to me this is very reminiscent of what the Queen of Hearts or more so the Red Queen from uh, Alice through the Looking Glass the live action would wear it's got the same paint splatter printing there and it's like a holographic green which is and it's got the red splatters there as well and there's roses and key printing let me try and see if you can see it yeah there you go on the other side it's on like a silk material and it's uh, got a gold like a uh, trim and it's got some filigree blue flowers like holographic paint splats rose petals keys it's a great print but again with the rose petals for, to me it's very like queen of hearts slash red queen um it's joined in the middle with like this piece which has got a metal wiring in it which you can and on the sides here which you can shape the dress any way you want if you're going to debox her and it's got some gold chain here which just ties it together and I really really love it it's very it's still very dominatrix um, but I, I do love the underskirt on the inside you can see her actual skirt and this is where my problem lies for me Lady Tremaine is an old woman she's in her late probably late 40s early 50s um, and I just don't see her wearing like this like knee-high like ple pleather skirt I, I would have loved it if they made it like a long floor length so it's a bit more formal and a bit more like regal for her but I, I just yeah I just don't think she would wear like a knee length dress like that that shows her legs of a woman of her stature and her class I just don't think she would ever wear anything like this this is definitely Queen of Hearts Red Hearts I've seen someone post an amazing photo with a Queen of Hearts head on this doll I think it's from my amazing friend they call me obsessed I'll insert a link to his photo and it looks quite amazing but yeah for Lady Tremaine I wish they did like a floor length pleather dress instead still pencil skirt but I wish it was floor length let me know what you think in the comments um, she, well anyway back to the doll she's got fishnet tights on and she's got some lace up up boots which are quite high and they're mega mega cute and I know a floor length you won't be able to see the boots but still at least you can see the detail there in the boots so there you have it guys that is my review of the Lady Tremaine Midnight Masquerade collector doll I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think of the doll down there in the comments and if you agree with what I've said in this video and yeah stay tuned I managed to pick up Ursula so her review will be coming soon and yeah see you in my next video bye